Good morning. Good Saturday morning. My name is Derek Mitchell, and you are uh, taking some time out of your day to spend some time with me talking a little bit about uh, nutrition, health, and uh, all things that uh, I want to discuss. So thank you for uh, sparing some time for me. My name, again, is Derek Mitchell. Email address is niagaraedge at gmail.com. And if you uh, definitely, uh, please feel free to email me if you have any questions and concerns about low-carb, ketogenic eating, uh, basic financial planning, or anything like that. So uh, today we're going to just talk about uh, getting started in the new year and how you can uh, and how I am moving forward uh, one step at a time. Um, and um, if you do like this video, please click like at the bottom and uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this point, thank you for spending again some time today. So uh, basically three steps is what I want to talk about. Three steps of moving forward. And they're very compartment compartmentalized, excuse me. Um, essentially, um, diet and exercise being the one um, Fizzle, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, um, financial um, functionality uh, as a second and emotional maturity as the third. So basically, uh, balance uh, is, uh, I used to think balance is a dirty word, but I think if, you have, if you're well-rounded, then, uh, then you can move forward a little bit easier. And the keep it simple is my motto. And there's no, nothing stupid about it. It's just keep it simple so that you can focus on the things that are important to you. And that's what I'm doing, and I hope you are as well. Um, uh, diet, and I'm going to just quickly go over those three areas. Uh, diet and, and exercise, um, those are two good uh, things to focus on as far as your physical well-being, uh, making sure you're at your ideal weight, making sure that your, um, your blood markers are uh, appropriate so your gl glucose is low, your uh, inflammation is kept as low as possible, you're eating the healthiest foods for you. And the healthiest foods for me are uh, low-carbohydrate foods. I try to eliminate those things that really don't work for me and, and I think that is uh, the N equals one. Basically you experiment as yourself to figure out what works for you as a human being and move forward with that. You know, what works for you may not exactly, uh, what works for me may not exactly work for you. Uh, exercise, I think it's important that we be as active as we can be. If we're not active at all, if we're in a sedentary lifestyle, it's important to go take a walk, even if it's 20 minutes, just every now and then, and then get started and be a little bit more active. I know winter's a little tough for those in the colder climates, like myself. I'm in the Niagara region, Ontario, Canada. Um, but my intention is to get out there three or four times a week and at least 20 minutes to a half an hour walks in addition to whatever else I'm doing. It's not a lot of time. We sit in front of the television or in front of our computers or whatever else for a lot longer periods than that. So a lot of people say, I don't have the time. Well, you know, you may not have the time, um, but there's always ways to find the time. You can fit it in within your schedule, especially if you have a family. You can find ways of, you know, when you're not, when you have downtime, when you're at the playground with your children, or this, that, or the other. There's always a way to find a little bit of time to be a little bit more active. Eating healthy, don't eat those foods which uh, will increase your sugar content in your body, your glucose fructose levels, you definitely don't want to have those be too high. That increases your insulin sensitivity and also and when you have insulin sensitivity, it promotes fat uh, storage and you don't want to do that. We want to lower the amount of glucose and fructose in our body to the point where we can start burning fat as opposed to storing it, especially during the winter time where maybe we are less active. I find myself, of course, more active in the um, in the, in the warmer weather, I'm just personally, I like warmer. Some of the people like the cold winter, but I'm not one of them. So, uh, so yeah, focus on those things, those st simple steps, be a little bit more active, maybe just in improve your food quality uh, a, a little bit at a time. And each week, just a little 10%, a little bit better, better and better. I would not measure calories. I would measure quality of food. And uh, if you do have any questions about in you know, the specifics about what I do, I'm happy to address them. Uh, second is financial uh, focus, financial quality, making sure that you take care of the money. Um, one of the things is a lot of people don't have a high level of income, so you have to be very efficient with the money that you do have. Um, identify what's important to you. There's always going to be things that are uh, more important. Of course, shelter and food is uh, usually at the top of the list. But there's other things that if you do have extra income that you may want to focus on, but don't just be spending money willy-nilly um, and put a certain amount uh, each pay or each time you get income, put a certain amount of that aside for a rainy day. Uh, you can pick a percentage, uh, you know, 10% is an easy number. But just understand that, you know, if you move, if you, if you slowly accumulate a nest egg and uh, you stop, buying things on credit, then things are going to be a lot more effective financially. Uh, 
And then the last item today I'm going to talk about is emotional focus, emotional maturity. Uh, a lot of us go through life and want things now. This is a now society. Um, we may be frustrated at the fact that we may not be making enough money and be able to get the things we want now and then. But we have to be mature and an adult and understand that sometimes we have to wait and, and work towards a goal. And, uh, and that whether that be in a relationship, whether that be something that you want to buy, whether that be something you want to do, such as a vacation. So um, focus on understanding what's important to you and sometimes what's important to you may not cost a lot of money so um, focus on those you know having a conversation with your better half or if you if you're not involved with anybody uh, finding activities which may not be costly but may be very satisfying uh, spiritually and emotionally so those are the three things and I'm just gonna leave with that on Saturday and I hope you uh, got a little bit of you know a little bit of um, approach that works for you. That's what I'm here for. I thank you for listening and spending some time with me this morning. I hope you have a good weekend. I probably will talk to you again tomorrow and we'll talk again soon either way. Take care. Bye.